Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to day number 91 of this art development series. Uh, so if this is your first time here, my name is Angela Wren, and this is a, docu a process that I'm doing where I kind of document my everyday growth as an artist. Um, and so recently, just two days ago, I made the switch from previously, for about the past six months, I was using uh, the Graph Gear mechanical pencil with 0 0.9 millimeter lead. Um, and I made the switch to good old Conte, Conte Paris uh, charcoal paper or charcoal pencil. And I'm also now working on newsprint rather than be working in my sketchbook or on drawing paper. Um, and you know, to, the goal today was just to try and explore a little more this new medium. So I talked about this a little bit in the last video, but every time, so let's say you're progressing, like so for about the past six months, I've been uh, just using the graph gear pencil. And let's say that this is your progress, right? This is like a little graph and your progress is increasing, increasing, increasing. And then you kind of make a switch to another medium. And unfortunately, there's a little drop off in your skills and in your drawing um, that you have to kind of like recuperate. So I'm still kind of in that phase of just trying to get back a little bit to where I was. Um, and the reason is, the way that you draw with this is different than the way that you draw with this. So let me explain. Like, fundamentally, certain things never change. Like, understanding a form and understanding how to put tone onto a form and put shade, like shading a form, understanding how to accurately draw the eyes or represent the eyes, um, understanding structure, understanding anatomy. Anatomy never, it doesn't matter which tool you're using, the anatomy of a, of a subject is always the same. The structure is always the same. But so, so what changes? Um, the, the reality is like the way that these, uh, the way that your medium actually works uh, changes from one to the next. So here's an ex a very specific example. So no matter how long I draw for when I'm using this pencil, I always have the same thickness of my lead. It's always 0 0.9 millimeters. The tip can get rounded a little bit, but for the most part, it always stays sharp, which is a great advantage of, of this tool. Uh, but meanwhile, with the Conte pencil, you have to sharpen it and sharpen it consistently. Otherwise, the tip quickly gets dull. And likely while you're drawing, this process is happening without you kind of even realizing it. Uh, you also have, you know, when you do this kind of sharpening technique, you have not only the tip, but you also have this whole side here where you have to work with that you don't get with the, uh, with the graphite pencil. Um, there's also differences with like, you know, how hard do you press? and how much can you erase? That varies from medium to medium when you're doing drawing mediums. Um, and you know, really just also understanding what's possible in terms of shading, what's possible in terms of tone, how dark can you get it, how light can you get it. Um, all of these different aspects are things that unfortunately as you switch mediums, you have to like kind of relearn. Um, so why, why switch mediums though? Why do this? Well, because every medium also has its own advantages and disadvantages. Uh, so I talked about this in detail in the previous uh, video, but just quickly to recap, um, if you want to get better at painting, this instrument is actually, so like if this is the spectrum from like, this is drawing over here, this is painting, right? This charcoal is like somewhere kind of towards the middle because there's really painterly things that you can do with charcoal on newsprint that you just can't do when you're drawing with the, the graph gear uh, pencil. How many times have I lifted these up, put them down in this video? Uh, <laughs> kind, of, kind of fun to have those, those instruments. Uh, so <clears throat> this is something that I'm thinking about as I'm kind of switching and trying to explore the new medium, just trying to get a little bit better at using the Conte newsprint. Um, so today I did a quick little draft or a quick little block in of a figure. Um, now I actually did a block in of this of rather a portrait. I actually did a block in of this with uh, the mechanical pencil. I think probably like 20 days ago. You'll have to search through and see see which uh, which day it was. But I've actually already done a drawing of this. So that was one of the reasons I was like, oh, you know what? Actually, I want to retry this now with the uh, with the charcoal pencil and kind of see the differences and see the differences in how I work and also see the differences in the results. Um, that was actually like a really nice exercise. Overall, I, I kind of like how this came together. Um, the lay-in portion and the construction portion was like identical. I didn't really have any differences. Uh, and then as soon as I started to add tone is where I started to see some of the benefits of uh, charcoal. So in my opinion, this drawing does have some of those painterly qualities. It's still ultimately a drawing and you can tell that and feel that, but it, it ha also has moments of it. Like for example, I think like um, aspects of the hair, aspects of shading, of like shadow areas, under the nose, let's say, like around the eyes, that feel a little bit more painterly than they do like a drawing. Um, so that was kind of a, a cool successful element of this.
But I would say that for this week, what we're going to be doing is really just kind of exploring a little bit more charcoal on newsprint and we'll do a combination of both figures and portraits and maybe also revisit like some other drawings that I've done in the past or even like maybe revisit a master copy it would be great actually. Um, so Jeff Watts is really well known for working exactly with the Conte pencil and the newsprint pad. Um, and so I think I'll probably do a master copy of some, some Jeff Watts work just to see how he explores and how he thinks about the medium. Uh, but that's everything for today. I hope I, uh, if you haven't drawn yet today, that this maybe has inspired you to draw today. And we will see each other tomorrow for day 93.